This is JB with Austin Homebrew Supply and this segment we're going to be adding the malt extract syrup. So we have already steeped the grains. We have now raised the uh, temperature of the wort to a boil. As you can see I've got a nice little rolling boil here. So when you add the malt extract syrup, which is this stuff here, and it's made mostly from barley, when you add this into it, there's a lot of sugar. It's going to want to caramelize, go right to the bottom and stick, okay? So we suggest either turning the heat way, way down or just take it off the heat altogether. So I got pretty, pretty tough hands, but you might want to grab some uh, stock pot, uh, uh, pot holders for this, but you want to take this off of the brew of the boil, and now I'm going to add the malt extract syrup. The reason I'm doing this is so I don't scorch. I don't want it to scorch on the bottom, so that's why I took it off. You want to blend it in. Don't don't splash it around too much. Just blend it right in. making sure that it does not stick on the bottom. Just the fact that we took it off the heat is going to really basically prevent that scorching. Try not to whip it around too much right here. It doesn't do good things for your beer later. So, you know, a lot of this stuff gets stuck in here so you just got to try to spoon out as much as you can. You don't want to you don't want to splash it around too awful much right here. There's something that can cause hot side aeration. I don't want to complicate things, but suffice it to say that at this point, don't go crazy splashing it around. Okay, gently stir in this malt extract syrup. Getting most of it out now. Some people actually rinse it out with some hot water, and you're welcome to do that. The malt extract syrup makes it easy to be home brewer. All right, so we're going to get this back on the heat. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a reaction beginning to take place already called the hot break. The little white uh, globules in there are proteins, and they're beginning to already to come together a little bit. This is going to be uh, one of the ways that the beer clears very nicely in the end. The proteins will all gather together. If I do everything correctly, get a good hot break and a good cold break, they're going to all gather together and kind of drop out of suspension, and the end product leaving a nice clear beer.